I just had this thought I wanted to record. I was thinking about, uh, well, I was watching this one young lady on YouTube talk about her YouTube channel that she's building up, and uh, talking about how anybody can achieve their dreams, and she just wants to help make the world a better place. And she was very, very sincere about what she was saying. And I've, I've watched her other YouTube stuff, and it's not that. This is just her talking to the camera. And uh, I'm not very good with the camera, as you can tell. I just have this uh, shaky iPad thing that I'm using. Anyway, I was talking about building up her channel and where it came from. And I thought, you know, I wish I could do that. I won't do that for forever now. But I don't really have a whole lot to say. But a little bit, I do. Um, I'll have to learn how to edit, take this crap part out later, anyway. Uh, quite a number of years ago, a young girl died. It was all over the internet, and her name was Amanda Todd. And at the time that that happened, that really, really affected me, personally. And uh, it's sad that I'm saying that, because I didn't know Amanda Todd personally, and until I heard about the sensational way and reason that she died, um, I, she meant nothing to me. So, she meant nothing to me before, she should have been nothing to me now. But she doesn't, she she means a lot to me, her, her struggle that she went through. Because, for those of you who don't know the Amanda Todd story, I won't go into all the details, but basically she was bullied uh, until she killed herself. Um, she changed schools, and she was being bullied over something stupid that was really a minor thing in the grand scheme of life, like it really wasn't a big deal. Um, it was, it was, what happened to her, she was totally victimized and it was horrible, but anyway, the, the incident that she was, that they, they were holding over her head was really not that big a deal in life. Uh, there's tons of pictures of girls on the internet everywhere and their lives aren't ruined. So why should her life be ruined? Cause she had a picture on the internet somewhere. Um, yeah, it was dumb, but people make dumb choices sometimes. And so you just kind of gotta like let that go and carry it and move on in life. Anyway, so when I heard about the Amanda Todd uh, story, what happened to her, I just, I went into this dark place in my head and it was hard to get out of that. And the reason for that is because I went through the same type of thing that she went through when she was being bullied. Now, I wasn't bullied for that reason, but it, it doesn't, the reason really doesn't matter. <laughs> you might think that it matters. Well, you know, he deserved to be bullied or she deserved to be bullied because they did this stupid thing. Or he walks funny or she talks funny or whatever the reason people pick their targets. I don't really know the reason. But it doesn't matter. It just destroys your self-esteem and it brings you down to nothing. And you just, you hate living like, you hate your everyday existence. It just totally sucks. There's nothing good about it. Now, I could compare my trials to her trials or to your trial or to some other person's trial. Oh, yeah, well, this guy, you think you had a bad, but look how bad had that, that guy. That guy went through, and you'll, you'll list all sorts of horrible things. He was beaten and kicked and teased and humiliated and whatever. And uh, But he he's okay. And then this guy over here... Somebody took his lunch money one day, and then the next day he shot himself in the head. So, the guy that shot himself in the head was obviously just being too sensitive. Well, there's often so much more to the story than just one little incident or one little thing, right? Anyway, with Amanda Todd, she was humiliated and bullied, and no matter what they did to try and help her, her parents tried, and they changed schools and all sorts of things to try and make things better. It didn't work. Uh, things just stayed horrible for her. And eventually she killed herself. And so many people... Well, there was two camps of people. Ones who were supportive of her family and the trials she went through. And then there was the haters that were still there hating her. They were still posting horrible things on her Facebook and doing nasty things about her. They'd won. She was dead, and they were still feeling the need to grind her into the ground a little bit more, which did nothing to her. Of course, it just hurt her family. And what sort of a horrible human being would do something like that? Well, 
those type of horrible human beings, I guess. Anyway. We started off, we wanted to help people. <laughs> um, Amanda Todd, what she went through was terrible. But what I went through was also terrible, and it caused... I started had this idea about writing a book about it to share how I got through it and to share how it doesn't have to be this this way all the time and the life gets so much better and things are actually really good but you can't see that when you're in the position she was in but the reason I felt guilty and I still feel guilty when I stop and think about it I never did write that book I never did put that information out there so nobody told her it's gonna be okay Things do get better. Things can get better. You have to make better choices, of course, but you can do that. We can we can come up with a plan to make this happen for you. Anyway, I felt guilty because I didn't tell her, and I could have. I should have. Uh, I could have tried. And, of course, it's not just her. Um... Anybody going through any child or person in school or even if you're an adult at work, you don't have to go through this and you don't have to go through it alone and it's going to be okay and there is a solution that doesn't involve you hurting yourself. And I didn't tell her that. And so what right do I have now to be upset I should have been upset before, and I wasn't. So I feel bad using her name and her story um, to promote what I want to do, which is stop bullying, or to help people get through it anyway. But I don't, I don't want to exploit her tragedy, no. and I'm just to to Manitou's mother and father. I'm sorry. It sucks. This is how many years after she died. I don't know. Four or five, maybe? I still feel terrible about it. Anyway. This is the start to my new channel. <laughs> we'll see if that works.